What's the deal, folks? Forbes. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl Tasha. Coming to you guys with another fall fashion lookbook. Okay, this lookbook, we are shopping our closets. We are using pieces that we already have. <laughs> okay, we are officially on a no buy until November, until my birthday. For those of you guys that are new, I'm turning 40 this year. This is a milestone birthday for me. I still don't know what I'm doing for myself, to be honest with y'all. But I do plan on buying the things. <laughs> so be prepared to be sick of me in November. Because this will be hole after hole after hole after hole after hole. Because if I don't go nowhere, <laughs> trust me, I'm buying the world. So <laughs> without further ado, if you're new, hey, well, my name is Tasha. I focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Mainly fashion, plus size fashion, apple shape fashion for my apple shape girls. So all my OGs, thank you for holding your girl Tim. Don't forget to follow me at Tasha.bstyles on Instagram. First, I want to say thank you to all my new subbies. You guys, we have hit 6K in the past couple of days, okay? We are on our way. We are on our way, okay, to 10K. Um, and I will actually, we're halfway to 7K because I hit 6K yesterday, I think at midnight. And I want to say right now I'm at like 650 or 651. So we're halfway to seven. Okay. And I feel like we're going to get to seven before the week is out. I feel like we're going to get to seven before the week is out. Okay. We are on the road to 10K. Okay. So in this video, we're doing chic edgy looks these are looks to wear on your own time okay i owe y'all a um work with lookbook i'm still trying to put the looks together in my head so we're going to do that and then we're going to do a fall essentials lookbook but this lookbook is going to be streetwear slash edgy styles because that's like my go-to aesthetic and i want to show you guys something really quick before we jump into this lookbook so you guys know that i picked up the Marnie Slide dupes from AliExpress, probably like three, four, four, three or four hauls back. And I got them in yellow and the hairs on them are really, really short. And I paid about $70 for these, I think. It was like 69, like 68 or $69 with shipping. I think it was about 74. So these I love. Now Brianna wanted a pair and I told y'all that my daughter is tall and she got WNBA feet. So the vendor that I shopped at, don't go up to <laughs> don't go up to no 12 baby so i had to find another vendor to get her a pair which i got her i think these are called like the rose pink and even the 12 still run small because i can fit these and i don't have a whole lot of room in them okay so these are the rose pink ones and i'm gonna style these up for you guys but i wanted to show you guys these in case anyone wanted the real marnie slides because I was going to buy myself the Marnie slides for my birthday. You guys know I want like that teal green color. And I wanted to test drive them. That's why I bought the yellow ones. But these ones <laughs> are probably the closest to what the real ones look like. Because the real Marnie slides has a lot of fur on them. And the fur is real wild and crazy like this. I don't like these on me. <laughs> I don't like these on me. But I'm going to style them up like I said. So you guys can see. And I'm glad that I did get these for Brianna. So I could see what these look like. Because I don't like all this extra fur. I like these are more sleek. The hairs are shorter. It's cleaner to me. So I'll probably go back and get these in the pink. From the vendor that I got mine from. But um, yeah. <laughs> I can't do the real Marnie slides because this is too much fur. But let's go ahead and get into the look. I just wanted to show you guys these. I will link both below if you like this version. Um, for her vendor, if you have bigger feet, this vendor goes up to like a size 46. Brianna wears a 12, like 11 and a half, 12 in women's. And I got her a, I think I got her a 44. No, these are a 43. And I should have got her a 44, maybe a 45, because her foot is like right here. Um, so keep that in mind if you have larger feet. Let's go ahead and get into the lookbook. Okay, you guys, so here is the first book. Let me go ahead and give y'all some spins. You need one more spin? Let me give y'all one more spin. 
Okay, so I told you guys before that suiting is not going anywhere. Okay, so I have suiting when it comes to summer, spring, and fall. And I like buying pieces that are light to midweight that can transition me through pretty much all of the seasons. Also, I told you guys that Chocolate Brown is definitely on the scene. It's definitely that girl this fall. So I am transitioning my summer spring um suit into the fall this is the time where you can still wear shorts and this is definitely blazer season and also we are still wearing bright colors in the fall winter okay so go ahead and still pull out your neon greens your cobalt blues your bright oranges these things will still be on trend this season so i wanted to do my short set with some chunky boots in a neon green sweater this is something that i would wear to go out to lunch or to go to a fall fashion event i feel like a brooch would add like an extra um to this but i can't find the roach that i'm looking for at the moment and i would definitely do like a hobo bag with this so how do you guys feel about this look Also, this is a play on men's fashion, which is another style aesthetic that I like to dip and dapple in. And then I went ahead and added my Bottega dupes and my silver watch from Amazon. So I'm going to give y'all one more spin. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the second look. Okay, you guys, so here's look number two. I'm going to give y'all some spins. Come on, okay so this is definitely like a street wear street fashion look and if these are the type of looks that you have wanted to create but you didn't know how to start street wear looks is probably easier <laughs> than any other look because it's really just throwing a bunch of things together that are opposite of each other but you tie the colors back in like the zebra print and the plaid is the opposite of each other as far as mixing a print and patterns together but because i have on a white shoe right a white mule it's tying back in the white from the bag for the outfit and it's adding like a little fun and edgy element a trench coat is going to always make something fashionable okay it doesn't matter if you're doing street wear office wear um monochromatic is going to always give balls vibes street vibes and a baseball cap will always <laughs> add a little razzle dazzle so it's really your accessories and throwing things together that are the opposite of each other so when you're trying to do streetwear looks just always keep in mind of a juxtaposition because that's pretty much how they work <laughs> okay so we're tying in the green from the shirt into the hat okay and then it has like a little bit of orange in it too and then i like um light to mid wash denim i wear light to mid wash denim pretty much all year long i'm not a, a dark denim girl um so i'm gonna always have a light to mid wash the stretch jeans just add a little extra razzle dazzle to an outfit so it's really easy to do these type of looks and this shirt is oversized from Shein, which is old the trench is old from h&m i will try to link similar things for you guys the jeans are also old from american eagle and the white news are old from now west so how do you guys feel about this look and this is also a look that you could do with sneakers i do have the og green ones which is green white and silver so those sneakers will work with this also the marnie slides could work with this um to really dress this down and make it more edgy than chic to pull out the yellow and i'll probably switch out the trench for like a leather jacket to do the marnie slides so how do y'all feel about this look Okay, let's get into look number three. Y'all ready? Hey, okay, guys. So here is look number three. 
okay this is another edgy but chic look so i have on this oversized um graphic t-shirt from asos um that has rupaul on it this is super old also the faux leather pants are from asos as well these are old i actually hope asos um bring these back because these faux leather joggers like they're top tier like asos really did their thing like they really give leather vibes and then i love how stretchy they are like the quality on these are chef kiss and then i have on the marty slide dupes the pink ones to pull in the shirt and then my favorite blazer which is a house two print blazer that i got from eloquy many many years ago and they have not this is the only thing that eloquy has not ran back normally eloquy running things back this is the only thing eloquy has never run this blazer back so if you have a house two print blazer sis Pull it out because how to print in a black hourglass blazer is really the only two blazers that you need with the how to print top tip baby girl top tip baby girl so how to print if you don't have one get one you probably could look up and find one in a thrift store in a men's blazer this is a double rusted blazer i love this blazer i will never ever ever get rid of her okay <laughs> so and i just went back to the zebra print bag just add some interest so we're doing my favorite thing which is black and white with a pop of color so we're playing around with pink so how do you guys like this look now with the paint it's kind of covering up <laughs> most of the shoe like it's doable but it's a lot of fur and i guess it was i got the yellow ones first and the yellow ones are like more tamed <laughs> and these are more wild i don't know they don't look bad with the outfit now that i'm looking at it but how do you guys feel about this look this is definitely elevated street where the blazer is making it chic and elevated the faux leather is adding the edge the first slides is adding the edge but i feel like this look is very grounded that you really the shoe kind of get lost like the color will make you look down at my feet but the overall look and you can always switch this out to sneakers at a heel like this is very interchangeable so how do you guys feel about this look I really do like this. Now, I will have to see. Maybe I will do like my coach long my sneakers, my white sneakers. Or maybe my Tory Burch charm mules. Like if I wanted to take this into the office. Because I would slide into the office with this. Okay. I really would. With the mark. I actually could wear this whole thing. Because I told you I'm going to dress down environment. But because I'm not really a fan of the pink shoes, either I would do my Tory Burch charm mules or my Coach Low Line sneakers. Probably most of my sneakers. But yeah, this is very interchangeable. Okay, let's get into look number four. Okay, yeah, so here's look number four. Now, two of the items is two of the items I forgot to show you guys in my huge collector haul. If y'all don't know this, <laughs> I am a leopard print, cheetah print girl. So I got all the turtlenecks at this point <laughs> from H&M. So this is in the gray and it's in the large, just like the white leopard print and the black one. And I got some other colors of last year. And then I also picked up some more parachute pants. Between parachute pants and clothes, I'm having a moment. Parachute pants have become a thing for me that I need in my wardrobe. Like these kind of take the place of a sweat pant, but you can do a little bit more with these than the sweat pants. You can dress them up or dress them down. You can make the bottoms tight. You can have them wide. You can do sneakers. You can do heels. You can do clogs. You can do a lot with these. So this is like my third pair of parachute pants. I I think I'm going to order a black pen and be done with parachute pants. So, I forgot to show you these. Large in the shirt, extra large in the pants. I will link it in the description box. And then I picked up this moto jacket last year from Eloquy, but I think they still, if I'm not mistaken, they still carry these. 
So I went ahead and decided to dress these up and I have on my metallic muse from Zara and I went back to my circle earrings and my silver watch. So how do you guys feel about this look? And this is a cute streetwear look, but this is a look that you also could wear to brunch. All the looks could be brunch looks to be honest with you. You can wear this to brunch. This is definitely like a day date situation. So let me get y'all some spins. So how do you guys feel about this look? Okay, so it's kind of monochromatic, but we playing with like a pop of color with the jacket. And then this is what the turtleneck looks like. Like, and I love this type of leopard print that has like the dark part on one side. Like, I don't know what it is. That's the only leopard print print that I like when it's like in the traditional print or another print like when it's dark right here I don't know what it is it just does something for me <laughs> okay but this is what the turtleneck is giving so you guys know that this is very universal it could be with jeans it can be with slacks you can take this into the office you can take this to date night you guys will see this styled up again so how do you guys feel about this actually this will also be cute too with my OG green um ones just like this but i would do uh a denim i would do my denim crop jacket with it so this outfit denim crop jacket with my og green because it has silver in the shoe so like that would be cute too to play around with for a street look okay so i have one more look for y'all one more look and i actually don't even know the look i'm gonna do i'm about to wing it <laughs> i'm about to wing it and this could be like a little off the shoulder situation like what y'all think okay so another thing too another another key tip to styling buy a bunch of basics turtlenecks are basics okay once you get all your solid colors go ahead and get some prints once you get your solid color moto jacket in black, go ahead and explore with color. And then if you like jogger pants, sweatpants, those type of pants, get an elevated version of that so you can have versatility in your wardrobe with their basics. So like the track pants that we got from H&M, the black ones with the white piping. And you guys might have the burgundy ones with the white piping parachute pants these pants are a little bit more elevated than a traditional sweatpants so you'll have the flexibility to do some dressed up dress down looks but still be comfortable and fashionable and on trend with basics okay that's a tip all right let's get to the last look okay you guys so this is the last look and this is my favorite look let me give y'all some spins I need one more spin. Let me get y'all one more spin. Okay, so I have on this graphic uh, print sweatshirt from Zara. This came out last year. But Zara always bring out these type of sweatshirts or t-shirts throughout the year. So I will see if they have something similar. If not, whenever they do, I will link this for you guys on the community tab because this is something that Zara, like what they're known for. And then I have on these wide leg pleated pants. They're high waisted and tapered from ASOS. These are old, but for my new uh, studies that are apple shape, we're going to talk about, I need to do a dedicated apple shape video just to refresh. But if you're not aware, high waisted tapered pants already flattering on us it's interesting at the waist gives an illusion of a defined waist the pleating takes away from the midsection and then usually with tapered pants that are high waisted with pleating the pockets go diagonal which helps give the illusion of a hip so if you're apple shaped do not be afraid to wear a wide leg pant just make sure that it's tapered at the waist and that it tapers back down at the ankle okay to bring balance to your body but i love this look okay and then i went ahead and paired it with my yellow mules so for you guys who don't know <laughs> those mules i got from now west i want to say during the pandemic i got them in red white yellow pink and green 
<coughs> excuse me y'all so this is a cute fun look i will actually wear this into the office Okay, I went ahead and paid with the zebra print clutch because I feel like it just really ties the look in. The yellow really makes the sweatshirt pop. Like I said, we are still wearing color in the fall and winter. So, and I love this with the silver accessories. So, this is a cute brunch look. This is the look that I will wear to work. This is definitely like a fashion girl look. So, if you're going to some type of fashion event, like this will definitely add gave the things in your fashion week you want something chill you know something like you don't gotta be over the top but this is definitely even a fashion girl moment so but this look will eat the girls up miss jordan now <laughs> this will eat the girls up at work okay this will probably be a look that i will pull once the weather drops just a little bit more in the dandy just a little bit more because this wet shirt is lined on the inside baby it's a little bit more so how do you guys feel about this look so graphic sweatshirts graphic t-shirts paired with your trousers is like a cute way a fun way to play around with your trousers like i say i always invest in suiting whether it's trousers blazers button-ups I always purchase those things in every haul because those are essential pieces for me. And I know that I can dress them up and dress them down. Like I tell you, in the event that I ever go back full business, baby, <laughs> I don't got to buy no new clothes. So, if you have made it to the end, boo, I appreciate you guys. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite outfit. This is my favorite look out of all the looks that I've done. Okay, see you guys in the... Workwear look look. Love y'all. Bye.